Great Scott. Today we're here with John Kipman. Um, do we call you a uh, reenactor? Do we call you a movie star? Do we call you a revolutionary guy? All of the above. All of the above. All of the above. Uh, more, mostly a reenactor. A reenactor. When did yeah. you start portraying George Washington? It was back in uh, 2006. I was actually invited by some friends of mine to take up the role. It was not something I thought of myself. It was really through the help of some friends. And you're, you're, obviously you have a passion for history. I mean, in order to be doing this stuff, you have to love it. Yeah. Yeah, from the earliest age, I've always been passionate about history, um, military history in particular. But uh, ever since I got involved in reenacting, I've been focused on the American Revolution. I started that in 1998, but I first started portraying General Washington in 2006. So this new movie about America, it's fascinating to me because it's the premise, what if George Washington was killed and America never happened? Do you think that's possible that without George Washington we just wouldn't, we wouldn't have the United States that we have today? I don't think so because the famous historian Thomas Flexner wrote the book The Indispensable Man and in that it really shows what a critical founding father he was. Uh, there was so much dependent on him that if uh, he had died in the revolution, which he was always exposed to tremendous danger, mm -hmm. that very well the country may not have happened. Wow. How, how do you get into a movie? I mean, you know, they, they make this, it's at Buckland Hills, you can go see the movie yes. right here in Connecticut. Yeah. How do you get into a movie? Do they find you, you find them, and the horse, the whole thing? Networking. Networking. <laughs> the, uh, this man by the name of Rob Child, I was on a project with America's First D-Day, which will be coming out on the American Heroes Channel later this summer. He got some key footage at the Battle of Gettysburg, and the American people, they wanted that footage. And they said, oh, by the way, do you know someone who could portray George Washington? He said, I got just the guy for you. Right. So there we again, networking. Networking. Yeah. Did you have lines? I mean, let's take a look. I think we have some of the clips from the movie. Do you have lines in the movie? Charge. Ch charge. charge. <laughs> that's it. That's, the, that's it. That's it. And it's, it's your own horse, too, right? Yes, that's my horse. And your horse's name is? Abishai. Abishai. He's a trained cavalry horse. So this is you right there. Wow, that, this that is, is incredible. Uh, it's my, very beautiful. That's my boy. And, and um, tell, tell us about Abishai. He's, uh, uh, when you say trained war horse, what, what does that entail? Well, a lot of people don't realize it, but horses are flight animals. When something dangerous happens, their instinct is to run away. So even at a reenactment, when muskets are going off, cannons are going off, it's traumatic for them. So I they have imagine. to get exposed to it and trained. So now he's what they call desensitized, so he's used to the musket fire, the cannon fire. What was new in the filming was the explosions. He hadn't seen that before. They actually, those were real explosions with ver very loud and with dirt flying in the air. Now the picture you're showing now is at a reenactment, so that's very typical for me. I'm usually a private. I get these big demotions, these big promotions. I don't know what I do wrong, but sometimes I'm George Washington, but most often I'm a private, so that's what's being uh, shown now. <laughs> okay. You got demoted. Right. Wow. So, and this is, this is regular life. When you're not in a movie, you're out, and this is your own horse. You're a yes. horseman, and we will see you around schools. A lot of students in Connecticut might know you as portraying George Washington. Yes, I have a regular public school presentation. I've been to public schools. I take the horse. We do it in a soccer field. And the kids probably forget everything else, but they never forget. At the very end, I bring them open wide, uh, full gallop across the soccer field, and that's probably the only thing they remember the whole presentation. But... <laughs> and, and if you know, if several teachers are out there probably watching, they're on summer break, and if they want you to come to their yeah. schools, I mean, what's your availability and how do they get in touch with you? Well, I through my website, uh, johncoopmanthe3rd.com. Uh, there's an email address, and um, I've, I've done it several times. It's always a big hit. Kids, kids love it. This movie, America, obviously, it's, it's, it's fiction of the idea, but would we learn a lot of real history? Would this be something good to take our kids to? Yes, because not only does it have that, but it has other little uh, vignettes. Um, there's this other uh, woman by the name of uh, C.J. Walker, uh, the first African-American millionaire. And this is in the early 1900s. Hmm. So that's a story that I, I, I'm a hist uh, history buff, and I never heard that story right. before. Wow. Very remarkable. Born in slavery. Uh, as you said in, in the speech, she went from the picking cotton to the wash tub to owning her own business. So Isn't I thought that, that was a neat little wow. thing that Absolutely. we should yeah. know about. And Sounds you've got a book coming out. Is that right? Tell, tell, yes, tell us about uh, the book. Yes, it's, uh, it's a short historical novel. It's called uh, George Washington at War, 1776. And it stays on two campaigns, the, uh, the Siege of Boston and the Battle of Harlem Heights. Those are two campaigns that get very little attention, but they're very important because they were two early victories for Washington. Mm. And based on those victories, that helped his strategy going forward. So it's very, it's a short book, but it's action-packed. The chapter one sets the stage, but all the other chapters just increase in, in action as the book goes on. 
When it, you're sitting there in the movie theater, watching the movie, and you're seeing yourself on the big screen, wh wh what are you thinking? I mean, it's got to be pretty incredible. What an experience that is. I'm just so proud to see my boy. <laughs> you're, you're more, you're, <laughs> that was exciting. He's in the credits, by the way. He is. He that's credit. awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, so, yeah. There's a link on your website that, that's where people can find the movie, and we'll have that on BetterCT.com. But one of the local places is we can go to Buckland Hills right now and see it there? Yes, but AmericanTheMovie.com, there is a upper right-hand corner, there's a button you can press for ticket showtimes, and then a drop-down comes up so you can find a theater near you. Great. You should perfect. go see it. Yeah, it's well, like it a beautiful film. It's, it's exciting. shot beautiful. Was Absolutely it shot gorgeous. at all here in Connecticut? Uh, as far as I know, no. My segment was in South, Car uh, South Carolina, South Carolina, but some in Florida and all over the all over the country, actually. Wow! wow. And you, did you fly your horse down or take him on a trail? Seventeen hours with the trailer. Oh, that was a long. God. That's why he had such a long face. Exactly. <laughs> you, got, you got that right. Thank you, John. We appreciate you being Thank here. Thank you so much. Sure thing. My pleasure. Oh, just ahead. Better style is coming up next. How you can look stylish for a summer weekend away.